A friend of mine came to me and he was a superstar in selling insurances, B2C environments. And he asked me, he said, Michael, how, how do I succeed in B2B sales? Because he wanted to do much larger deals and he wanted to have a different approach. He basically wanted to learn something new and, and new techniques. And I told him, well, look, the first thing you got to remember when you come from B2C and you move over to B2B is that one, you cannot always be closing the deal. Because in B2B, it simply takes more time. You have more hierarchy. Things are different. You'll probably need four to five meetings. So be closing the next step, the next meeting, but don't be so eager to close the deal today, get the signature. The person in front of you can probably never sign what you're offering them, right? So don't go like a madman after that closing in the beginning. Secondly, B2B is fundamentally always structured hierarchical, meaning that they always have a boss, they have a board, even the CEO has a boss. You always need to go there. The bigger the amount, the higher the hierarchy, the longer it will take. It's just the nature of B2B. So dear B2C friends, calm down, just go with that flow. Thirdly, and that's something you, you, you see less in B2C, B2B, it, there's a lot of value-based selling. You need to offer knowledge. People are interested in talking to you if you explain them something they don't know, they're not aware of, or you can actually educate or even just inspire them. But the value-based approach of giving something and explaining, that is why they want to talk to you. They want to have insights into the market, something they didn't know. They want to insight, have insights into competitors even, or how would you do certain things? So you have to really get your skills a few levels up to do the value-based game. And last but not least, they always say you're worth as much as your network, but do not underestimate the people you know, especially, especially in B2B. So the way you build trust in the beginning is by actually knowing several people. And if they can introduce you, you get an immediate shortcut to the right person. Because in B2B, going up to somebody, walking up to somebody and talking to them for the first time, it's very different than in a B2C environment. In a B2C environment, you can kind of force your way in. In a B2B environment, you always have people blocking, gateway keepers like secretaries, but also a lot of other people in departments that will just block your path. But if you get an introduction from one CEO that says, you got to talk to that person there, they will open the doors for you big time. So if you want to be successful in B2B, I would start with those four and they will give you a tremendous base to actually grow your skills within the B2B sales environment. Of course, if you subscribe to my channel, there is a much more that you can learn on how to be the best and succeed in B2B sales.